<laughs> Today, I don't have a lot of time. So I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to talk about coffee. I only actually started drinking coffee a few years ago, but I quickly turned into a massive coffee snob. I hate Starbucks. Obviously, this is the first rule of coffee snobbery. I've devised a set of guidelines that I follow whenever I walk into a new coffee shop. One. The first thing you do is look at how many sizes they have. If they have more than two, yatta! Leave. The only two sizes you need are single and double. And after number one comes number two. Look at the size of the sizes size of the sizes. Yeah, that works. If the double is more than a grown person can cup in one hand, leave. You really don't want the coffee place to be smothering the coffee in milk because that probably means the coffee is shit. <coughs> and number three. This one is very much a guideline rather than a rule. If they have a bigger area for food than they do for coffee, revise number one and two. There are delis that have really good coffee, but in general, delis tend to have more of a focus on food than on coffee, and coffee is more of an afterthought. Take Starbucks, for example. There's so much food and so many drinks, like the Frappuccinos. Back when I still went to Starbucks, I went to get a double mocha Frappuccino. Mocha, as we all know, being a combination of chocolate and coffee. Deliciousness. I said, give me a double mocha Frappuccino, please, with an extra shot of espresso. What did they say? There's no coffee in the Frappuccino, but I'll put some in. But yes, what's my point again? I get riled up about Starbucks. Hmm. Don't even get me started on fair trade. So three guidelines. One, two sizes. Two, small sizes. Three, less food. The two best places here in Edinburgh are Rocket Cafe and Artisan Roast. Rocket Cafe is actually a deli, but they're taught and they buy their beans from Artisan Roast. I actually do work for Artisan Roast, driving their coffee around to their customers, but the only reason I do work there is because I hang around there all the time. You might wonder how I make my coffee here at home. Well, I'll show you. This is an AeroPress. It's very easy, it's very small. There's no plug in it. It's a plunger, a tube, and a thing you put your filter in. Boom. It's like a combination of espresso, French press, and filter coffee. I'll put a link downstairs so you can go have a look at them. These things only cost about £20. The filters are not very expensive, and the only other thing you need is your kettle, which you're already using for your noodles, right? You boil the water, you put the filter in, you put the coffee in, you put the water in, you stir it a bit, and then you plunge. Then add sugar and water to taste. If you want it really strong, just don't add any extra water. It's a pretty strong coffee. Well, you can put sugar and milk in, but you'll be a sissy. Do you want to be a sissy? Thanks again for watching. If you do like my videos, please consider subscribing and sharing and commenting and all that jazz. And I'll be internally grateful. And externally. And eternally. You... Eternally? Bye.